Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So to, in today's session, we'll see the get methods in date object. So in the previous session, we have seen how to create the data object, right? So whenever we say about the object, that object should be created with the help of new keyword, right? So first of all, we will create a data object. And so that after that, we can get different parameters from that uh, date, right? So in the previous session, we have seen somewhere D is equal to new date. So this is the one way to create the data object. So if you create in this way by using this statement, that means if you are not passing any parameters inside the date function, this will retrieve, this will give the current date and time. Current date and time. So we have, we know that date can be represented in three parameters. That is year, month and date okay and time can be of four parameters hours minutes seconds and milliseconds so we need to get all these parameters right so we can get the year we can get the month we can get the date we can get the hour we can get the minute seconds and the milliseconds so for this purpose the first function is get full year get full year okay so the syntax for this one is we need to call this with the help of this date okay so d dot get full year right so this will give the four digit year the four digit year so y y y y okay four digit year so now from this date we will get the year for example, if it is, if, if you, after executing this one, the D will be some 2021, January 23, 10 hour or uh, uh, something 20 hour, 30 minutes, 45 seconds, 200 milliseconds. So this is the date. Now, after getting this function, after executing this function d dot get full year, the result, the output will be 2021. 2021. And similarly, get the second one is month. Get month. So this is also the syntax we should call with the help of a data object. So d dot get month. So I will execute each and every function by, execute, by by showing the code, right? So by writing the code, we will execute each and every function. Let's see the syntax now. So this will return, this will return 0 to 11 because a month can be represented in numbers from 0 to 11. So if it is 0, that implies the month is January. If it is 11, the month is December. So the output for this one, the output for this one is so here it is a january so we'll get zero as an output okay zero as an output and the next one get date get date so get date means this is also we have to call with the help of date object so d dot get date so here the date can be from 1 to 31 so from this we'll get the result as 23 okay next get day so this is also d dot get day so it will give the number for days okay so it returns from 0 to 6 so 0 starts from sunday and 6 will be saturday so this will return so as as of now 23rd january that means today it's a saturday so the result will be 6 here okay and get hours get hours so d dot 
get hours it will return the hours from 0 to 23 and here we'll get the hours as 20 20 will be the output for this data object and the next one get minutes get minutes so d dot get minutes so that the minutes will be from 0 to 59 right the result will be see 30 and similarly get seconds get seconds so we'll get d dot get seconds and here also it will be 0 to 59 so that we'll get here as a 45 and the next one get milliseconds so we know that the, there is a seventh property so d dot get milliseconds so which will return from 0 to 999 because 1000 milliseconds will be given as a one second so here we'll get the result as 200 so this is how we can get different properties from the date okay different attributes from the date so we can uh, retrieve all the seven properties seven attributes right so this is these are the get methods these are all called get methods in order to retrieve the existing data right so hope you understood this one so i will execute the same thing i will demonstrate each and every method by executing a code so we will move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen various uh, get methods of a data object now i will demonstrate each and every method by writing a small code so first let us begin with the html tags so i will give the start and end tags of html and inside that we'll go with the body tag and inside the body will give some uh, title and then we'll write the script right so i will go with the h1 get methods in data object right h1 now we'll write the script here so inside this script start and end tag we need to write it first of all we have to create some date so in the previous session we have seen the uh, how to create the date by using the date function without having any parameters we'll get the current date and time so first let us print that current date and time and then we'll use the get methods write ln d plus break line for the next output so i will save this file by using a name called get methods dot html okay so you can observe it was created and uh, you can observe the icon here so just double click on that we'll get the date right so pre uh, before going to that we'll increase the size okay right ln h2 so that the output will be of more. right now let us start with the uh, uh, as we know that date and time we are having some seven parameters so seven parameters are uh, first one is the year month date hours minutes seconds and milliseconds so for e for extracting each thing we are having a separate get, uh, get function so in order to get the complete year in order to get the complete year so we need to implement get full year method so let us start right ln year so d dot sorry d dot d dot get full year method right yeah now execute this one so you can get the year year is equal to 2021 so from the current date and time so he, here we are uh, taking the current date and time to the d d is a data object and from the date object we are getting the full year full year 
right so get full year will give the four digit year right similarly we can copy the same thing we will execute so in order to get the month in order to get the month month is equal to go with the function called get month get month so automatically we will get the month see zero so here the month is represented as numbers from 0 to 11 so 0 represents january and 11 represents the december so in order to get the month we will get get month so if it is 0 that means january so this is a january right yeah and there is a one more function uh, in order to retrieve the date okay it in order to retrieve the date so get date so here date will be from 1 to 31 here the date will be from 1 to 31 so we will get the date 23 so today date is 23 so this is the current date and time okay this is the current date and time so from this we are extracting each and every property okay each and every uh, argument right first year then month then date and also we can get the day what is the day okay document dot write ln day is equal to plus d dot get day so here also it will represents the numerical value it will represents the numerical value you can observe day 6 so today is a saturday so it is a day 6 so sunday it will be 0 right from sunday to saturday the numbering from 0 to 6 right then and one more thing that is hours so we got year month date day and now hours in the current time okay hours you can get it see hours is equal to 13 you can observe here 13 so we will get the result as 13 similarly minutes so get minutes so we will get the minutes you can observe here 32 is the minutes so 32 will be get okay we are getting some 32 and similarly seconds get seconds so you will get the seconds so what are the seconds you can observe here 19 is the seconds 19 seconds okay and then milliseconds so we can also get the milliseconds milliseconds so get milliseconds is the method okay in order to get the milliseconds so this is the milliseconds if you refresh it again the milliseconds will be changing okay so you can observe again it will be changing then after the milliseconds we can all we can also get the time so what is the time in terms of uh, milliseconds okay so default date will be january 1st 1970 and from that we will get the milliseconds okay get time so we'll get till now till now what are the milliseconds from january 1st 1970 till the date what, how many milliseconds we are getting so that will be displayed here okay so this is these are all the different get methods so in order to get the year month date day hours minute seconds milliseconds and time so we can get all these things right so we can get all these things right so hope you understood and uh, uh, let's stop here if you are having any doubts regarding these get methods in a data object feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.